Uh, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angel Altieri if this is your first time here and welcome to the video. Today I am bare faced because this is another spin my stash video. If you don't know what that is, I have spinner wheels for every step in my makeup routine with every product in my makeup collection with some exceptions and I spin for every product so I could get something new that I haven't used or something I haven't used in a long time. I'm doing this video a little differently just to save some time and I'm going to show you the spinner wheels as I'm putting the product on. There are times I have respun just because I've used the product a lot recently or yeah, that's really it. I wanted to really spin for new things or things I haven't used in a while. And I'm happy with the things I've spun for. So if you're interested in this video and the products I will be using, and spoiler alert, I will be using my Robert E. Christie palette. Finally, I haven't used it in so long and I'm excited to use it today. So if you're interested in this video, you're interested in random makeup challenges, then you know the deal, you know the drill, and you know the vibes. Let's go. So I will be starting off with primer, and I'll show you me spinning for primer. I don't have too many, so... I did spin for the Clarins Instant Smooth Primer, but I also like hydrating primers, so I spun again, and I spun the Milani SPF BFF Primer, which is a recent purchase for me. So I'm actually going to put the Milani on first. Sorry, that must have been loud. Brand new to me. It's like a peachy hue to it. I might have done too much. I don't smell really. I heard Jessica Braun say she really likes this primer and the store by my house is closing down. That sells makeup amongst many, many other things. But all the makeup was 30% off, so I purchased a few items. Upon first impression, this primer is like pretty glowy, if you could see that, which isn't what I necessarily look for when I'm buying a primer, but it feels nice and hydrating, which is what I want. So the added glow doesn't really matter to me. I don't mind that. We are moving back into spring soon, hopefully. And yeah, I really do like that it has SPF as well. So cute. Love that. Now we're going in with the Clarins. Love, love. Love this primer, very smoothing and perfecting as implied by the name. I just use my finger, smooth that in, and I take it up to my under eye as well a little bit. And I smile on my eyes. Really get those pores filled in. Oh, yeah. Really quickly, I didn't spin for this product, but I like to use it anyway. This is the Fenty Bright Fix in Peach. For foundation, I did spin for the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I have the shade 310 here, which I don't know if it's too... I'm just tapping this in with my beauty blender. I feel like I use a lot of this foundation and then, <sighs> see I might have poured out too much. This isn't very full coverage, it's more medium buildable, but it is a really nice finish. It's quite natural. This foundation doesn't look like anything on the skin, like in a good way. It looks like I just even out my skin. I can still see some redness. Nothing too crazy. 
for concealer. I spawn for Julia's place. I don't have too many concealers either, so it's fine that I spawn for this. And when I use this, I typically pair it with something else to brighten. So I chose the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and Custard. And my Juvia's Place Eye Magic Concealer is in the shade 18. Very full coverage. So I'm going to add that. And I always use contour nowadays. I've really been loving this concealer. Super full coverage. Blendable. Creamy. But not dewy. Not sticky not drying. That shade actually looks pretty good. I'm going to use the tiniest amount of the NARS right in my inner corner. Right on my nose. Just brighten it a bit. We're getting full coverage, folks. Full coverage. For setting powder, I spun originally for number seven, but I use that a lot and I had some other powders that I haven't used in a while, and this is brand new to me, so this is what I spun for. Secondly, the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Stop. In the shade 10, Fair Light. I know, Angel. You're not Fair Light, but this is the shade I wanted to try and I thought would be best for me, so, you know, pray for me if it doesn't work out as well as I hope, then I can just use number seven. <laughs> Did you see that? What the heck? Just got assaulted. So I'm just pour some out. This is like a cult favorite setting powder and I bought it again at the store that's closing down because it was on sale. So I was like, you know, let me try this out. Let me let me check her out. Tap on my under eyes, make sure they are not creasing. Okay, ready? Let's see, side by side. Ooh. This side. Let's try this out all over the face. I'm gonna grab a big fluffy brush, make sure I have no creasing anywhere. For example, my forehead. My forehead loves to crease. I'm gonna pat some of the excess off. Back of my hand. pretty nice. I mean, I do have still some sheen to my skin, probably from the primer. I'm kind of liking that. And I typically start seeing some texture at this point, which I see some texture, but really not that much. I kind of like this powder. And I'm going to lightly set my eyelids with that as well to finish off the powder that I have in the cap, honestly. All right, bronzer. I did originally spin for the Veef bronzer, but I feel like I use that quite often. And although this is a fave, I spun for the Kimchi Chic Beauty Taylor Bronzer in 031 to Venice. This is a fave, but a fave, but I haven't used it in a while. So let's use her. Shall we? We shall. Take my bronzer brush. Make sure there's not too much. Tap that in. She's pigmented with. Oops. Tap, 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 tap. She's so pretty though. Oh my gosh. Stop. I'm gonna try to take like the tiniest bit on the side of my nose. Since this is very pigmented. Pop off, queen. Yes, God. <laughs> I just keep. Oh, blush. 
I did spin for the Vive blushes because did I spin for something else first? I don't remember if I spun for something else first, but I did spin for the Vive blushes. I have the shade Pesca and Piazza, which I'm gonna go into Piazza first. I just don't know how well they will go with the look I create. I'm just gonna lightly use that on the outside of my cheeks. I look like I've been outside <laughs> in the sun. And I'm just going to finish it off with Pesca. Have a nice peachy moment. A little closer to the inside of my face. Not too much under the nose a bit. Oh, how stunning. I love blush. <laughs> I also have a highlighter. I spun for, did I spun for, oh, I spun for the Amrezy, but I just recently used that, I think like twice, so I have a lot of highlighters, so me using something twice is a lot, but I spun secondly for the Unwild Mega Glow Hello Halo Blush Lighter. Don't ever cut me off like that again. I might use... Okay. Should I use a little bit of the highlight? I mean the blush. Blush like? No. I'm just gonna use the highlighter. Oh, this is this is in this is in I met someone. Ooh. Scandalous. Alright, so let's use the highlight side. Let's see. Oh. 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 So so that's what we're doing. Oh. Oh. Hold on. I was, when I, guys, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I was not prepared. I was not prepared for that. I have had, I just, well, I have had the Mega Glow highlighters before. And I've decluttered them because, you know, they're okay. They weren't a favorite. And I almost bought them at the store because, you know, sale. I decided not to. I decided to go with this one. And ooh, wow, that was a visceral reaction. I was not, I was not expecting that kind of beam. That shocks me. Shocks my core. Oh, wow. I'm gonna keep this out for like my inner corner situation later on to finish this skin let's set the face i spun for the morphe continuous setting mist this is in peach it's limited edition it's old hold on let me just yeah i need to do that Oh god. Although this is like the first extremely fine mist I've ever had. It's not finer than the Fenty. By the way, congrats to Miss Riri and ASAP. Beautiful couple. Kind of lady. Well, New York. Their work. I'm going to do my eyebrows and then get into my eyeshadow. Look at that highlight. Wow. Okay, I'm back with eyebrows, and I'm so close to sma snatching this off. This is what they mean when they tell you to go to your hairline. Like, I'm gonna snatch this off. Oh my god. Oh my god. The relief from that. We're gonna let the hair live because I had a headache from the headband. <laughs> Sorry. Really into it. So now let's get into my Robbie Christie palette. Robbie Mom. And of course, I'm going in with 
I know, trolls. Yes, yes, I know. I know. But I'm filming three videos today. Hopefully. So I'll be doing something neutral. Uh, I just don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what to do. Let's start off with my whole heart. Because I love Christy with my whole heart. Yes. And I'm going to tap that in. And blend it in. Now I'm going to take Moo Point because I'm like really into this color. Tap that into my crease. And softly blend that in. I think that's such a pretty color. Such a pretty color. I am going to be brave, my hair is not, is, okay, <laughs> just, no, I'm going to mix Moo Point and it just does, and I literally just broke my nail into one of the colors there, so that's fun, yeah, I'm gonna mix those, try to build my outer corner a bit, there's no, like, perfect color to really build that mob color with and I'm really feeling my whole heart to be all over my lid I don't know soft blend in that yeah so I'm just packing on my whole heart my lid creating somewhat of a cut crease without actually cutting the crease. I am gonna try to put that color into my inner corner. Take a different fluffy brush and move point again. Stampening, stampening. Yeah, stampening. Stamping it into the outer corner, gonna blend it out. Get a crease. And yeah, that's, that's the vibe. That's the vibe I'm going for. Taking a new point. Like a fluffy ish. Pencil brush. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of Golden Ticket. And I'm literally tapping it on. And I'm tapping it like all over, like into the outer corner a little bit. Up into the crease. Taking that highlighter into the inner corner. And sheen sheen. Ooh, and that onto the brow bone. A little bit of this color, copper boxes, like the tiniest bit. I try to deepen the outer corner. Should I do a lip and then? And then put on my lashes. What do I do? Yeah, I'm gonna do the lip. Go off camera, film my hair tutorial. I'm doing a hair video. Please don't don't say anything on my camera. But let me Put on a lip and then see what happens. I'm feeling some ColourPop. I love Sarah. Sarah. Kirby lip liner. Cute. Yeah. 
I spun for KKW lipsticks. I have three shades here and just want to go for like the best one. I don't think that's the best one. A bit too brown. That was 3.5. This is two. Okay, that's a contender, which is a little peachy. And this is the shade one. That's pinkier, right? Yeah, let's do one. Oh. Pigmented, I'm just gonna grab my lip and add more lip liner. Yeah, let's put on the gloss. This is the Raw Beauty Her Stay Luxe Gloss and Wildflower. Yeah, I think that helps a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, so good. Yeah, okay. I need, I need. No, but I need lashes. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put on lashes. Just so you know, I did spin for a mascara and I got the Il Maquillage Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. I got this in an Ipsy. Yes, I did say Ipsy. Don't be alarmed. Um, so yeah, I'll be trying that out. Stay tuned. Okay, my hair is done. I have lashes on. The lashes gave me problems. So annoying. Um, but here's the finished look. I love the eyes. Super soft and dainty. Skin is looking really nice. Really, really nice. Not too much texture on my skin. Very smooth. Really pretty. I love it. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of this spin my stash. It went very well. I'm loving this hair. Stay tuned for my hair tutorial. I don't know if this will go out before or after. So I'll have a link either way at some point using the Conair hot rollers. That's how I did this hairstyle. Uh, and I wanted a hairstyle up for Valentine's Day. Because, you know, why not? I think it can be useful if anyone's going out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification if you're feeling froggy. I post all the time. If you like me and you like this video, share it to a friend, one friend, all your friends, Instagram, Twitter, and link all my social media down below. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and hope to catch you in the next one. Bye.